Hello everyone. In my last video, I spoke about labeling little children and its negative impact upon them. Today, I would like to tell a little about why we should not give any kind of negative comments, scold children, or uh, yes, label them, etc. When they are so small, the kind of impact. What? What? Why does it leave a negative impact upon them? Number one. Children, when they are young, they do not know what they are. So, they just think they are what people are telling them. As parents, if we appreciate our child, the child would always build self-confidence. The child would think, okay, I am an individual and I am a worthy individual. But on the other hand, if the mother or the father keeps scolding the child all the time and tells him or her, that you are not able to do this, you are not able to do that, oh this is bad, why did you spoil it? The child kind of feels that they are not worthy, they feel guilty about their initiatives and they feel that okay maybe I am not so good, maybe the other person is or the other child in the family is better. So it is very important how we kind of treat our children how we talk to them because when we talk to them we kind of make them aware of what they are so every time we are saying something negative the child builds a negative self-image and every time we try to appreciate the child the child builds a positive self-image so many a times many mothers have told me that you know how would we not scold our children there are times there are instances when we also get very frustrated by what our children has done because you know there are many times uh, we come across working mothers who want that uh, who doesn't have that much of time and who uh, kind of you know uh, they say whatever when they get angry in such cases I would advise every mother be it working mothers be it any mother who is looking after the house that one has to be very very conscious because your child is being molded in the manner you treat the child so there is there should be some level of respect there should be a lot of love and there should be a lot of encouragement while you are bringing up your child and a small child you cannot expect that the child would do everything correctly what is expected is they would try to do something and as the facilitator or the mother or the guide we guide them how to do it correctly so it is very baseless if we try or if we think that the child is going to do something perfectly right from the start so uh, when it comes to negative uh, comments on a child's behavior like uh, many times many parents would say oh my child is so selfish oh my child is so uh, you know uh, he is not at all careful the child kind of thinks that okay I am selfish and tries to mold his personality on the basis of that similarly a child who is careless would always feel I am not responsible enough to take any duty so this is how the personality of the child is molded when they are little ones. So it's found from research that 85% of who we are, our personality, our intelligence, our uh, social behavior is molded by the time a child is 7 years. So it is very very crucial that parents understand how to talk to their children the language we have to be very very careful with what language what kind of language we use with them so that they build self-confidence they understand that they learn from mistakes that mistakes is not wrong that one needs to learn from mistakes and they build a positive self-image because that is what is going to work for them when they are grown up. If they have the confidence, they will always learn from their mistakes and they will always look at failure or something they are not able to do in a positive manner. So parents, 
mothers, young mothers, facilitators, please never use any kind of word that demeans the child, that makes the child feel that they are not worthy.